looking good. But the question is, are you really growing enough food? Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Checking out the garden. Looking pretty good. We had a lot of rain this past week. It has really helped us out. The corn is coming along nicely. We had a few sunflowers that we lost. They're the volunteers. But that happens with high winds and whatnot. Now we're going to be 95 degrees. So welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to touch on this tonight because it's on my mind and I feel convicted to make a video about this and I know that it's a touchy subject and I know that there is a handful of people that um, don't like to talk about this and well, I'm here to shake you out of your denial. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to point blank say it like this in the most um, honest way I know how. You don't have enough food. You're not growing enough food and you know what? Neither am I. Okay, no one that you know is, no one that you watch on YouTube is, no one down the street is, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say it like that as a generic broad brush uh, statement to try to shake you, wake you, bake you, and myself too. No matter what anybody thinks, no matter what anybody says, no one has the solution um, that is going to be the end-all fix for you or me in terms of full self-sustainability. Uh, self we do not live 1883, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter uh, what fairy tale people like to buy into or fantasy land, I'm just letting you know that the whole idea in this day and age that there's somebody out there that is going to be 100% okay all the time uh, and being able to do all the things that they think that they're going to be able to do uh, in a catastrophe, in a catastrophic situation, is a fairy tale. Is there one? Per, is there a one? Is there one or two people out there out of probably millions that can pull it off? Sure, because I'm gonna, I'm going to say that because there's going to be somebody that's going to answer and say, "Well, I can because I live here and I do this." So we'll go ahead and feed that one little beast and now he or she are happy and we're done. But the truth of the matter is that is overall a fairy tale. I say this to you in this way because I don't want you to have, I don't want to have any misconceptions over the amount of food and the amount of time and the amount of land that it takes for an individual and especially a group of people, whether it's two people, four people, 10 people, pick or choose, that they can absolutely 100% grow everything that they need. It's not going to happen. 99% of the population doesn't have the land that they need in order to do so. I'm going to argue that 99, I'll be a little bit gentler with this. I'm going to say 95% of the population doesn't have the experience or know-how. So if you're sitting here and you're like, well, I have a garden, I can grow things and I can do this and I can can. Sure, I don't have as much as I want, but I, you are the exception when it comes to that. This is the second part that you need to realize. If you're in the group like me that has some capability to grow some of your food, if you have the capability to understand what all of the things that you need in order to do so, that you have the seeds and the skill sets. You have you understand how to preserve these items. I'm letting you know that you are, honey, you're a rare diamond, okay? You are the, uh, you're the most beautiful rare diamond that God ever put on the planet at this point because most people don't have a clue. This is not me being ugly. This is not me trying to pick a fight. This is not me trying to put you or even myself down. This is not enough food for my family. Don't think that I'm trying to just say, oh, look at me here. Look what I can do. This is not enough. No way, no how. Literally, when they tell you, depending on what you're growing, you should be growing a couple of acres of food per person for your family. That is no joke. So since we know this, 
historically, since archeologists and historians can verify all of this information for you, a couple of raised beds in your backyard, while they will help supplement you, they are not going to feed you very long. They'll help you with your food bill. They'll freshen your foods up. They'll help you grow some great herbs for you to make you know, medicinal items for your medicine cabinet. I'm not denying that they supplement you, but the whole idea of being comfortable and claiming that you're growing X amount, guys, it's just not, in most cases, it's just not true, okay? And you have to look at the different varieties of foods that you're growing as well. Are you going to be able to supplement your proteins? How many beans are you growing, by the way? <laughs> Ginger, how many beans are you growing? She doesn't look real bothered by it. So here's what I'm saying. Food inflation is not coming down. I don't care what they tell you. I Today, I'm growing all this food. And I went to Aldi and I went to Ingalls. Sure did. Because I got items that I needed for my home and for my pantry because I am trying my best to not live in a fantasy land. I am not trying to make you bite off on some weird fantasy land that I am because that's a lie. That's a lie. So here's what I'm saying. Do whatever it takes to continue to stock your pantry. You buy what you like, what you can afford, and what you feel you need. I'm not your mama on that. I always make suggestions and try to give ideas and give, you know, give a variety of items to choose and pick from that probably are going to be important that at least will last you several years on your shelf. But you really, really, really need to be pushing on that. I have been saying for a long time, in fact, I made a video a year and a half ago, maybe, telling you to try to go two years out. Guys, you don't just do that and say, I'm done, it's done, I'm over with. You keep working with that. You still need to try to grow a lot of food. But listen to me, we had a storm come through, two different storms come through this week that could have absolutely decimated what little bit that I have here. I didn't even plant in all my gardens. You know the story here. I have a lot of tomatoes growing. We have cucumbers, squash, a lot of corn and beans. I kept it very simple for summertime, okay? Um, I bought my peaches that I'm canning. No shame in the game. I'm buying canned goods. We do all of the things. You need to be doing all of the things. Grow food, yes. Preserve food, yes. Herbs, yes. Can, can, can. Dehydrate, uh, you know, harvest right till your brains fall out. All of the above. But the question comes down to, are you in reality with how much you need. Have you tested yourself? Do you really, really understand how much you go through, what all you need, how much are you growing? Listen, just because my corn has come along great and it's hit the mark where it needs to be by July 1st, which is in, you know, basically two days, doesn't mean I'm gonna end up getting anything. What if another storm comes through? I'm not even at tassel yet. It's close, but I'm not there yet. You do not know what's going to happen. You cannot predict anything coming. And I'm going to tell you, as we round out 2023 and we push into 24 and we get close to the election, folks, I would make sure that I have everything I can possibly have to be prepared in every which way that I possibly can. I don't think 2020, the end of 23 going into 24, pushing into 25 is looking very good for any of us. At least not for those of us that love freedom, that aren't buying off on crazy agendas. Okay? And we have to eat. Everyone has to eat. So I know July 4th is coming up. I know people are kind of lulled out. I know people are um, consumed with all the shenanigans that we've been seeing, all these stupid distractions. Don't be worrying about what's going on over here or in the ocean or up in the air or falling from outer space. Pay attention, but understand this needs to be your focus, your gardens and your pantry. If you have to go and buy your food in cans at Costco or Aldi or wherever, do not apologize. If you're growing food and you can grow acres of it, if you have any brains, 
clicking around up here, I highly recommend that you still do your best to go get some canned beans, some canned carrots, some canned potatoes. What spam? Yeah, baby, all day long. Because what's important is that you are prepared for emergencies. Try your best to push yourself two years out. Two years out. Once you start building this pantry and you keep going and you keep going, continue to rotate your items and build your stock. You don't just get a certain amount, turn around and look and go, well, we're done. It does not work that way. This is a lifestyle. This is a decision to be in, as independent as you can. This is a decision to be as safe at home as much as you can. This is a decision to understand that there's a lot of fantasy in blogs and on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube videos. Don't let that, don't, come here buddy. Don't, <laughs> don't let that deceive you. Don't apologize for doing all the things, okay? You need to be doing all of the things. That's what I wanna say to you today. We're going in, we've put everybody up, gotta keep canning. You just can't stop. I know you want a break. Um, I'm, I'm tripping on rocks. Imagine that, Rocky Top. I know you want a break. I know people want to go on vacation. I know people want to just have a mental break. I get that. You don't have to just slam yourself 24 seven with all the crazy stories in the news, but don't put your preparedness and all the things that you're trying to accomplish aside. We, as of basically starting Friday, today's Wednesday evening, so I'll, hopefully I'll get this video up tonight or first thing in the morning. But as of June 30th, we're on a six to seven week schedule to push again on a lot of projects. The deadline for a lot of projects, small projects, summer projects that we knew that we were gonna be doing, our personal deadline, fingers crossed, thank you Lord, is the 15th of August. We're pushing. I want a lot done before September. I think you should try to push too. Do the best you can. Keep growing, keep stowing, don't stop. Get the foods and the items you, that you need for your home as fast as you can, as quick as you can, as calm as you can, but don't stop. Don't stop. All right, guys, we appreciate you. Whew, it's getting muggy. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna be 95 degrees Friday and Saturday. Yeah, looking real forward to that. So a lot of work has to be done around the farm and uh, hopefully you're getting a lot of harvest come in one way or another. Guys, if you have to go to Costco to buy your carrots or go to the farm stand to get your peaches or head to the Mennonites to get your potatoes and then you can them or whatever you choose to do, just do it. Like, subscribe and share. <laughs> Wait, look crazy. Guys, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much. Stay very busy and we'll see you on the next video.